So, so let's jump into the thing that I think most people here actually definitely want to hear about, which is AI. So you had an op-ed in the Times last week, two weeks ago, something like that, kind of laying out both your, I think kind of in some ways the first intellectual framework for how to think about regulating AI was kind of how I read the piece. Um, so give us the strokes of like, let's, I'm going to make you king now, right? So you're not just the FTC chair, but like you control Congress, the White House, everything. How should we regulate AI? So the goal of the article was to really clarify a misconception. Um, and I think that misconception is that here is AI, it's this new thing, and it's really emerging in this regulatory vacuum, right? I think a lot of the statements that we see from some of the executives also try to ratify this idea. This is new, there are no rules, Congress, please create some rules. And what we thought it was really important to do was to clarify that, hey, there are actually all these existing rules on the books that are all gonna apply. Right? There's no AI exemption from dis laws prohibiting discrimination. There's no AI exemption from laws prohibiting collusion. And so it was really an effort to, to make clear that just because businesses may be using these tools and introducing them, uh, they need to make sure that they're already complying with the existing laws on the books. I think we already see a lot of risks relating to how these tools can be used to turbocharge fraud and scams, which, you know, it, might seem less exciting than some of the dystopian visions we hear about, but in terms of the very real dangers here and now, uh, it's off the charts, right? I mean, these are tools that are basically enabling scammers and fraudsters to disseminate fake content uh, much more cheaply, much more quickly, and on a much wider scale. And so we've already heard stories about how you know bad actors can use voice cloning tools to uh, make calls, pretend to be somebody's family member in distress using a very convincing simulation and scam people out of thousands of dollars, right? And so those types of urgent, immediate, here and now type harms are the ones that we at the FTC are most concerned about. Um, I think on the competition side, there are a whole set of really interesting questions to be asked around, you know, what is the stack? of AI, what are the different inputs, right? So you have compute, you have cloud, you have data, you have the models layer, you have the applications layer. Uh, which of those layers are, are ones where we are likely to see you know, significant benefits to scale and some of the existing giants having an advantage? And how do we make sure that they're not using that advantage to squash out competition and say you know, certain types of applications or models? So I think that's where we need to be quite vigilant. 